Keith and Lynn, why did you decide to come and live here? We were approaching retirement age, both out of the education world at that stage, and we had bought ourselves a beautiful caravan, and we saw an advertisement in the Motorhome magazine, and I said to Keith, should we just go in and have a little look? And Jason was the salesman of the day and he showed us the show homes and I said to him, I want to move in immediately. I just loved the look, I loved the feel. Uh, and so we went home and talked about it and Keith said, let's do it. And as far as the financial advantages are concerned, Keith, the ability to free up some capital, come in here and park your caravan as well. Yeah, in Hawke's Bay we had a typical quarter acre um, with a 1950s villa house on it and it's swimming pool, spa pool, garaging and whatnot. All gardens um, were manicured. So the financial advantage of moving in here, we capitalised on the current uh, real estate market and um, made a good gain out of our sale and came here and um, made that to our, to our advantage. So tell us about the lifestyle you have here, Lynn. You've got your caravan. Do you go away much? Do you hitch it on the back and hit the road? We're what we consider reasonable, reasonable newbies. Uh, so we have not gone out yet, although we do have our caravan parked in the boat on the apron and we are starting to plan our trips away. So we've got September, we've got a cruise before then, so we can lock up and leave. And then in September, we're going to Wellington with the caravan and uh, visit grandchildren. And so it, it's just lovely to know that your property is there, safe, and as you say, secure. We're very happy with that concept. And what about the overall lifestyle here, Keith, in terms of mixing with the community, meeting new people, coming to a place a long way from where you used to live, but have you found it easy to blend in, mix with the others here? Absolutely. Um, having a, an over 50s um, lifestyle village, it's, uh, it's enabled us to meet new people, make new friends. It's a very social uh, environment. And we're more than happy with, with what we've seen since we've been here. And the ability to just live a nice relaxed life mm. and not have to cut the grass, paint the house and that sort of thing must be fun too, is it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's lovely. It, it's, you do have to get your head around that change of being in a community and that there's people all around you close compared to what we did have and the downsizing. That was pretty huge. So you had to learn to declutter pretty quickly, did Correct. you? <laughs> was that trouble? Uh, probably more for me than Keith. <laughs> but you a, had more stuff. I'm a sentimentalist <laughs> and um, a primary school teacher who says, oh, I just might need that one day. <laughs> I just might need that resource. So to let my resources go was it, a big thing. It's taught us that you can live very minimalistically uh, as opposed to what we were doing before. Mm. Have you also thought about the future and about when it comes time to sell and how attractive was it to you the fact that you'll keep a lot of the capital gain in this place when you do sell? We did do the sums and knew that it was a 15% rather than a 30% of, not, you know, of that difference. Mm -hmm and that we could put it on the market to sell it. Any time? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the, the, it, it was attractive to us to be able to get that capital gains, unlike a retirement village where they only have a license to occupy, and I think it's a 30% um, uh, that the owners- It's a deferred management fee, deferred isn't management it? Fee, you don't yeah. have that here, do no, you? No, no. Mm -hmm. So we get the use of the capital gains. And what about the, the future here in terms of the village centre which is being built? You're looking forward to, to having that and to being able to mix with your fellow village residents there? We're, actually, we're absolutely fortunate that we're opposite, right opposite the village centre, so we'll certainly make use of it, particularly the gymnasium. 
We will yeah. watch it grow. Yeah. And no need to uh, catch a taxi home on a Saturday night. No. And yesterday I went with the van trip. We had a, a six of us went and we went and visited Papamoa Sands. And the village centre, of course, is beautiful over there. So we were just visualising that coming over here. Can't wait. And to be able to mix with all your other residents here and have good fun. Mm, yeah. Absolutely. We do that in the stables. <laughs> On a Friday Already. evening. Already. We're regulars at the happy hour. So is there anything that you'd like to say about how to improve the place or are you completely happy here and have you uh, settled in really well really quickly? We are aware that this is a growing community and uh, Papamura Sands is already built and I know if, um, from the sales team that they've made a few improvements from Papamura Sands and when Matamata gets up and running there will be probably more improvements there. But no, we're quite happy with, with the way things are going. Let's talk about your motorhoming lifestyle or your caravanning lifestyle. How long have you had the caravan and uh, how often do you plan to get away with it as the years go by? When we realised we were coming up for retirement uh, back in 2015, we sat down and uh, talked about what we wanted to do in our retirement. So caravanning, motorhoming was one aspect. So we visited Mystery Creek where they had a motorhome and caravan oh, expo, yeah. expo yeah. was. Yeah. Mm. With the intent of look, looking around to Let's see what was available. Let's just go and look. Mm -hmm. But we end up coming away with a caravan, a brand new caravan. So from there, um, we decided to spend the next couple of years learning how to use it and getting out and about, meeting people. So mm. when we did retire, we are up and running. Mm. And that car park or the caravan park and the associated facilities are a real selling point for you here at, uh, at Cambridge Oaks? For it us. gives us mm. a sense of security that our asset is protected and it's in a secure environment. And have you got yourself a little shed as well to do the bits and we bobs out there? Having a caravan, we have to have a shed to put our awning and other bits and pieces in it, unlike a motorhome where they have an attached awning. Right, so those are the kind of facilities that are really mm. important to you as a caravan owner. Mm. Yeah. That was, yeah. The other attractive part of it was that um, Freedom Villages have allowed to have four spaces out there for friends of ours who have motorhomes who may want to come and stay a couple of nights and they provided a facility out there with a shower and toilet and that so our friends can stay there as well. <laughs> because you're just in a one bedroom home yes. and it means that you don't have to put your guests on the couch, no. they can go and stay in their motorhome and come in to see you for breakfast. Correct. Yeah. Or if family comes, we, we would let them have our so, unit and yeah. we would go and stay in the caravan because yeah. we're for, more familiar with it and how it works. And uh, yeah, so everything is working out really well. Keith and Lynn, thanks very much.